All right, so the solutions for finding missing sides using trigonometry. I'd started this already, so I'm just going to go from here. Circle the angle. Adjacent is x. Hypotenuse is 2. So adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So we set up cosine of that angle. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Then multiply times 2. That's where I'm at right now. So you go 2 times the cosine of 49.3. And you get 1.3. If you're using a calculator at home, make sure your calculator is in degrees as a letter D or DEG. Number two, circle the angle. 7.5 is adjacent. X is the hypotenuse. So, ka, toa, recognize that adjacent and hypotenuse uses cosine. So we write down cosine of that angle, 35, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. When x is in the denominator, these are going to trade places. So it'll end up being 7.5 divided by cosine 35. And then use your calculator. And you could also use Desmos. Or you can let me do your calculator work. I get uh, 6.1. Number three. See if you can set it up before I do it. So press pause and see if you pick the correct one. Is it sine, cosine, or tangent? 28 degrees. That is opposite. This is adjacent. So, ka, toa. So which one uses opposite and adjacent? So we're going to write down tangent of 28 is equal to 3.9 over x. Again, x is in the denominator, so they're going to trade places. So that's 3.9 divided by tangent 28. And it's 7.3. Again, circle the angle. 16 is adjacent, and x is the hypotenuse. So that's cosine of 54.7. And then adjacent, which is 16 over x. And then again, trade places and use your calculator and get your answer. If you round properly, it would be 27.7. Number five. That is adjacent and hypotenuse. So again, it's cosine 52 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Because x is in the denominator, they trade places. So it's 14 divided by cosine 52. And you get 22.7. Again, circle the angle. We have adjacent and hypotenuse. So again, that's cosine. Adjacent is 5.4. The hypotenuse is x. Trade places. And then use your calculator. Six point six if you round it properly. Number seven. That is opposite over hypotenuse. That's sine. So it's sine forty seven. X over fourteen point two. And then I'm going to multiply. So either going to multiply or divide by that. So we're going to multiply to get x by itself. And then use your calculator. You get 10.4. Again, circle the angle. That's opposite and adjacent. So that is tangent. Oh, that's a 5. And then to get x by itself, multiply by 5. So that's what you're going to type in the calculator. 5 times tangent 
31.5, that's 3.1. Circle the angle, opposite and hypotenuse, that's sine 32, that's 9 over x, trade places when x is in the denominator, and then divide rather than multiply. That's uh, 16, it rounds to 17. Circle the angle, you try, press pause. Opposite and adjacent, that's tangent of 50 degrees is equal to x over 14.3. Multiply because x is in the numerator. We're going to multiply to get x by itself. You get 17. Two left. See if you can do it. Circle the angle, opposite and adjacent, that's tangent, so tangent 66.1, opposite over adjacent, and then multiply by 9, and then use your calculator. All right, last one, number 12, try it, opposite over adjacent. That's tangent. Again, what it's in, trade positions here. So the x and the tangent 45 trade. Use your calculator. And the answer is 8.4. All right, Mr. G. Math over and out. Great job doing your homework.